Hello guys, Deets and Ugly Studios here, and today we'll be looking at the minifigures for the LEGO Star Wars set, Vader's TIE Advanced versus A-Wing Starfighter. This was a very anticipated set, and I think the only downside of it is the price. I think the price would have been justified if we got a few more minifigures, such as another Imperial officer, or maybe another member of the Ghost Crew, but I really think that this set has a very nice selection of minifigures, and let's get into that right now. First up, we have Grand Moff Tarkin. This was unexpected for this set, but according to the Rebels timeline, he would be very high ranking in the Empire, as he was in A New Hope. But this is not to say young, because you can tell by that face that he is not very young, but a younger version of Grand Moff Tarkin that we, than what we see in A New Hope, which is the only previous variation of him we've gotten. Uh, he has a normal blaster pistol in black, and he's got his little Grand Moth Imperial badge right there. Uh, he's got a little bit of detailing, and it's interesting to see an Imperial outfit in this dark sand brown. Uh, he's got the new hair that's been used for the Doctor, and for, I'm pretty sure, one of the Ghostbusters, and quite a few other minifigures, but this is a new hairpiece for this year. Uh, he's got blank legs, as a lot of minifigures this year disappointingly do. He has this printing on the back, and then the back of the face is not changed much, but he's like, what? Very confused, rather than on the front, just being angry and very decisive. And next up, we have the man himself, Darth Vader, Lord of the Sith. This is an awesome figure, but it's not my favorite figure in the set. You'll hear my opinions on this very soon, and I am very vigilant about this opinion. So, I'm sorry if I upset some of you, but this is my opinion. Here's his lightsaber. Very cool. Not as cool as the old chrome ones, but I like this a lot. I think it fits his lightsaber very well. Uh, I might customize this to add some black detailing to make it more accurate to the film. But, yeah, I think it's acceptable. Uh, he has plain black arms. Amazing printing on the torso, reflective in the, all the places it needs to be, but not everywhere, which is perfect. Uh, he's got the awesome cloak going down, more A New Hope style. And here's the point of contention. Here's the new helmet. Looks alright. You can take it off, and there's the second half of the helmet is still on the bottom. You can see his new face print, take that off, and then this stays on here with significant friction. And then you take that off, and that's how you get to this new cape. On the back, he has very basic printing, what you'd expect for something to be covered in a cape, but it's very nice that they even gave it to us. If I could improve one thing about the figure, this would definitely be it. Boop. That's all I want. That's all I really wanted from this figure, and I just really don't like the new mask. That's my opinion, and I'm sorry if you don't like it. But I just really hate the new mask. It's always looking upwards and looks extremely misproportionate. The top is way too small, and I just believe that it looks more accurate as a film, but doesn't look as good on a Lego minifigure. I believe this is a proper Legoized version of the mask. Even though it's way too long in the back, the top of the head is short, and the face is barely proportioned, it looks more like Darth Vader to me than this thing. Next up, we have Sabine Wren from the Ghost Crew. I'm pretty sure her torso print has not changed since her last variation, but the legs, I'm quite sure they have. These legs look fantastic, and the print is just great, and the torso also is great and fits her artist style. Her hair is super weird. I'm not a big fan of this. It's way too big on the top, and it's not accurate to the character very much. That's my only gripe with this character. I love these guns that she has given, and the fact that she's given two is fantastic. And the back of the torso is just very simple. And I think it's kind of weird because the more cartoony design of the Rebels characters is not the same as the cartoony design that was represented in the Clone Wars. I've never done a Rebels review before, so I'm just going to say it right now. I really didn't like how all the Clone Wars characters were very cartoony and their printing was done that way. These figures are done to fit in with more realistic figures, such as this, which I really appreciate, as you can integrate sets that are from the TV show with sets from the movie very easily. 
Overall, this is a pretty good figure. The only gripe I have is with the hairpiece. And here is my favorite figure of the set. This is the A-Wing pilot. If you know me, and you know my reviews, you'll know that I've kinda got a certain liking for pilots in Star Wars. Pilots in Star Wars are some of my favorite figures, and they probably always will be because of the intricate design. This one is not my favorite pilot whatsoever, though, because the legs are blank. That upsets me very, very much. We normally get printing on the legs for the new pilots, including straps or like a tube or something. But this one just lacks it, and I think it makes the figure look a lot more plain. But overall, everything else about this figure is quite fantastic. Having a sand blue pilot is awesome, and the top of the helmet is gold, and overall this helmet mold is fantastic. Here we go around the sides, green detailing, yellow detailing, red detailing. The brown cloth under mixed with the gray metal over it is very awesome. There's the back printing, and it's the same but paralleled on the other side. This helmet is fantastic, and I will use it for many other things, and I actually ordered quite a few more because I like them very much. Here's the female face that we have under it. I don't think we see female pilots very often, so that's cool to get. And then here's the other side of the face. Uh, this is not my favorite female face because it has one side that's happy and then one side that's confused. And I think for her being a pilot in a Star Wars Civil War, I believe she should have one that's happy and then one that's angry. I think that would be more suiting. But I think we're just going to have to keep this for her normal face when she's flying, not specifically happy. But I think I'm okay with it. Overall, this is a fantastic selection of minifigures. I love each and every one of them for many things they have, except for this guy right here. This guy right here, I really don't like that. Sorry, I just knocked him down. My anger is getting to me, but I won't let it anger lead me to the dark side. Uh, here we have this old helmet, old Darth Vader helmet. Would have been so much better, but I can't change what's happened in LEGO, and I can't change the fact that they're going to be using this mold for the next, let's say, 10 years. Which kind of upsets me, but who cares. Overall, I like all the figures in this set, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.